started to think about where I'm going to be putting this giant pumpkin. And I think, uh, like I said, it might be a DWC style. And a little five gallon pail like this, really, I don't think it's going to cut it. This, on the other hand, just might be able to do what I want it to do. And uh, it's one of the big rain barrels that I had out last year. And fortunately, I put a crack in it because there was water in it over winter and it froze, expanded, and cracked the barrel. So I'm just going to patch that up and I think this will be the new home of that giant pumpkin. So I patched up the bottom of the barrel with just melting some plastic on there. I don't think my lungs really appreciated it, but I think it works. I also went on the other side and put just a bead of silicone on there, so I'm pretty sure this won't leak anymore. Because of the size of this thing, I really don't want to be filling it all the way up with water and nutrient. It's just a big waste of nutrient and money. So I'm going to try to do an auto top off system where maybe I'll keep the water level, you know, maybe halfway up. And to do that, I'll be using this and this is for a humidifier in your home so it keeps your humidifier topped up and I'm hoping I can use it for this system to do the same kind of thing when the water fills up it presses up the float and closes the valve when the water level drops the valve will drop and your water will come in through the uh, inlet there so I'm really hoping this little thing will work for this system I'm hoping this giant pumpkin plant will put off a lot of roots and I don't want those roots to be getting in the way of my top off valve or my pumps or any other kind of tubing I'll have in there. So what I'm going to do is build sort of a separate chamber for that kind of stuff. Using some of this old drainage pipe and then I can put everything inside here keeping it free of all the roots. I'll go ahead and start connecting the top off valve inside of this tube. Uh, the top of valve itself is worth probably about eight bucks. Uh, the tubing, maybe another four, and some fittings that will let me connect it to another reservoir is, are about three dollars as well. These giant pumpkins need a lot of space to grow and I'm hoping with what I have here I'll be able to do that. It's not a lot of space but I hope it's enough. This reservoir will be topping up the big one back here and in order to do that it needs to be higher than it. So I'm going to be dropping this one into a hole and that's going to be a pretty big hole and it's going to take me a while to dig but the sooner I get it started the sooner I get it done. Okay, break time. Break time's over. I'm gonna see if I can temporarily get things set up here and actually get it working. I need to drill a hole at the bottom of my reservoir and connect the tubing to it. So I've got my line running out from my reservoir into my gigantic giant pumpkin DWC system. 
and all that's left to do now is test it out. I'm expecting a few leaks, but hopefully we'll be able to patch those up. So I think things are looking pretty good now. I had a small leak that I was able to fix and that's the only one I'm seeing so far so I'm pretty happy about that. I'll probably leave this overnight just to make sure the float valve is actually working. Check on it in the morning and that will be it. So I think I'm just going to call it a day for now and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks.